since I always wanted to develop uh, messenger RNA coding for therapeutic proteins, so I, my contribution was that, uh, first of all, understanding that uh, uh, modified nucleoside is uh, non-inflammatory and figuring out how to incorporate non to make the mRNA non-immunogenic, non-inflammatory by incorporating modified nucleosides, specifically pseudouridine, to the messenger RNA. This way, the messenger RNA was non-inflammatory and non-immunogenic. The truth is that uh, prior to the uh, development of the vaccine, messenger RNA was already actually clinical trials for uh, different diseases, treatment for heart failure and, um, and other uh, diseases such as uh, uh, liver diseases. So those are already in progress and uh, prior to even the vaccine development. So actually the future is was in presence and the past. So mRNA is already discovered, uh, um, mRNA already developed for other therapies. Some people reject the vaccine because they, they assume that the messenger RNA vaccine was developed too quickly and probably is not good. I would say that uh, uh, the messenger RNA therapy was developed for decades. And only the last phase happened very quickly, but that's already all of the uh, components were ready to implement. Some people re reject the uh, messenger RNA thinking that it incorporates to the genome. There is no precedent for that. The mRNA is not entering to the nuclei. Messenger RNA cannot incorporate to the genome. So there is no precedent for that, that it would happen. The messenger RNA is a platform. It can be used for develop many kinds of uh, medicine, not just vaccines, but uh, mRNA coding for therapeutic proteins, and uh, those can be used for uh, uh, treating uh, heart, liver, and many other genetic diseases, and uh, right now already also development for gene therapy, where permanent uh, uh, modification of the genome can be introduced.